Hello disc golfers, this is Matt Dollar, and today we're going to watch round one of the East Roswell Frisbee Trail Championship, and it takes place at East Roswell Park, just north of Atlanta, Georgia. So today we're starting on hole number two, playing the black tees, which are the longest tees here. Hole two is uh, pretty short. I usually throw a little thumber down the left side. There's a little creek about halfway there. Going with the moonshine spark. Oh my God. I actually threw the line I wanted exactly. I just threw it a little too hard because I was a little excited first shot of the day. So I caught a tree and kicked me back down to the right. Pretty much anytime you hit a tree, even if you're on the upslope, you slide back down on that hole. So that is a hole that you want to birdie, but par is not going to kill me, so we move on to hole three. Hole three is a long par three, it's about 390 feet. I went with a moonshine enforcer. And that's a tough two to get. That's actually the first time I've two that hole this year, I believe. And this is pretty much my home course these days, so it's a really good two to get me back where I need to be. This is hole number four. I'm going with the culver in there. Uh, just turn it over a little too much. And it's going to set me up for a long turnover putt around some trees. Not where you want to be on hole four. Sets me up for another par. So this tournament, the East Roswell Frisbee Trail, is run by Mike Azimi and Brian Gort, and they do an amazing job. Uh, this is actually Hole Five's alternate tee, playing it as a par four today. The normal black tee on this hole is about 300 feet, pretty easy shot. So they wanted to mix it up, spice things up a bit. So I went with the flow off the tee, and then the scene is for my upshot there and putting it in with the spike for my birdie. This is one of my favorite holes in the course, hole number six. Um, we used to have a pretty epic hole six and they built a library, so we had to change it to this. But this hole is pretty epic oh, itself. Man. That shot was throwing my hatchet. It looked like it was gonna be pretty good, uh, but there's one tree in the right side of the fairway about halfway. And you wanna go to the left of it, but if you throw a good shot and go to the right of it, it still goes to the pin. So I hit that tree and it just put me in absolute jail. Just trying to get as far as I can out of there and save my four. Looks like I'm thinking about maybe dreams of getting a three, but this is a really tough shot. Uh, kind of a jump putt up around some trees. Just have to take the bogey there and take me from two under back to one under. Going into hole seven. Hole seven's a bonus birdie hole, just like hole six. I believe hole seven's about 350 feet. I uh, threw the culverin, an opto culverin, again there. Snuck my birdie in the left side. It's a very hole, very good hole to get a birdie on too. I usually don't birdie seven too much. So, I got me back to two under. This is a pretty easy par four, hole number eight. Kind of a tweener hole, but happy with my three. Gets me another birdie and puts me at uh, three under par. Hole number nine has potential to be one of the best wooded holes in Georgia. Instead, they left way too many trees in the way, and uh, it's kind of just a poke and hope. I pretty much go with a thumber off the tee every time here. Um, just try to beat the first set of trees and hope to skip down there. But I hit that first tree and sent me into bogey land. Almost able to squeeze my far putt in, but not quite. This is hole number 10. Hole 10 is about 300, a little over 300 feet uphill, straight tunnel shot. Tough to get a two on, easy to get a four. Almost get the birdie. 
and a little extra reward for my effort. Sweet little roll away. It only went about 25 feet. <laughs> that was a sweet catch though. That was not the best putt. But after a roll away, uh, I guess it gave a little back to me. Uh, hole 11 just chipped an easy little thumber. It's only uh, 175 feet. Not much to work with there. Hole 12, uh, go with the thumber again with the spike. Or the spark, rather. There's an OB. Uh, well, they call it a pond, but it's just an OB rock garden in the middle of this hole. So, I actually throw the thumber straight over the top of that. Went a little deep, but was able to sneak the birdie in. There's a tomahawk with the hatchet on hole number 13. Might as well just go ahead and call this overhand alley. These five holes in a row. Five short holes that you want to try and get a birdie on, but they're all super tight. And I just go overhand on all of them. Spark thumber on the first wow. two, and then tomahawk with the hatchet on the last three. Pretty much the same shot for all three of them. This is hole number 15, the last in overhand alley, or birdie alley as we call it here. Came up a little short on that one. Maybe a little bit of a tricky putt. Probably the best putt I've hit so far today. Hole number 16 is the beast. Uh, par four, and it's a tough par four too. <laughs> Easy to get a five, even a six on this one. Uh, threes are very rare. Man, I'm barely able to sneak one in the left side and save uh, save a par. Hole number 17 here is probably the second, maybe even the first hardest hole in the course is it, in terms of par. Um, very hard to get a two on hole 17. Very hard to get a three also, but three feels like a birdie, and I got one there. So even though it's a par, it feels good. Moving on to hole 18. Hole 18, like hole 9, just could be an epic wooded hole, but there's just a few too many trees left in the fairway. That was not a great shot. I just pulled that one a little to the right. It actually fought through quite a ways. Um, I got a tricky shot here, but it's doable. I'm just trying to get it over left of the pin to give myself a putt. That basically worked as good as it could. Give me a long chance to save the par. Good putt on back-to-back -back holes just to save par. Last hole is hole number one, and it's a monster. That is one of my better shots. Uh, that was the enforcer again. I finished a little far to the right, hit a tree, but just to get that much distance on hole one is huge because it's really easy to get a four or even a five on hole number one. So a three is almost a birdie. So I'm just trying to jump putt it up to the basket here. And I'm successful. So that par will get me to a score of 50 for the round and seven under par. And that's good enough for the lead after round one. This is a four round event and we will have coverage from all the other rounds with everyone in the lead card. So subscribe to my channel so you can check out those videos when they come out. Huge thanks to Carly Seward for filming and Latitude 64 for their sponsorship. Thanks for watching.